Facebook attribution window comparison tool is back. Oh, yeah. Back before iOS 14.5, you were able to report on different optimization windows. It didn't matter which attribution window you had your campaign optimized for. You were able to see 28 day click, one day view, seven day click, seven day view, one day click, seven day view, and one day views. All of this was available to you to see so you could tell what was the best attribution window to optimize for. But after iOS 14.5, gone, flew out the window. Goodbye, hasta la vista. You were only able to report on the attribution window that your campaign was optimized for. So if you had a one day click, one day view optimization on your campaign, you were not able to report on what happened after that one day click. So if somebody happened to buy day four, day five, after clicking that ad, you wouldn't know, it's gone. So you didn't know whether optimizing for one day click, one day view was better than optimizing for seven day click, one day view. You, you just had no idea. And that caused a lot of arguments on Facebook and on Twitter and in all of our Facebook ad communities. Like what's the best window to optimize for? And now the data's back. You can report on it. You can see if your one day click optimization is driving sales at day two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if it is, you can start running campaigns with a seven day click optimization. It's easy as that. Another great thing about this feature is if you're ever running a campaign that exists outside of the Facebook ecosystem. So let's say you're running an email campaign for Black Friday. Whenever I run a campaign like this, I typically see my Facebook ad CPAs plummet. They get considerably better. I feel like I'm doing a really fantastic job and Facebook's, you know, helping me crush it. And the truth is there's probably been a ton of different people that actually are on Facebook and were in my email list. And the last click actually came from email and not Facebook. So we can now break down whether somebody is an actual view through or if it's a last click. And if it coincides on a date where you're doing a big campaign, you can probably devalue some of those view through conversions on Facebook and get yourself kind of a last click CPA instead of this blended model that, you know, might be giving you a false narrative. Anyways, if you already have this available on your account, not every account has it as of today, you can find it by going into your uh, reporting dashboard inside of Facebook ads, clicking on the columns in the reporting, and just like where it used to be prior to going away, it's back again as compare attribution settings. When you click on that, another little window is gonna pop up and it's gonna ask you which attribution windows you wanna include in the reports. One day view, one day click, seven day click. I'd recommend checking all of them, clicking the apply button, and you'll now have all of that data sitting there ready for you to dig through and leverage business intelligence to figure out exactly what's happening in your account. Huge upgrade. I'm so excited it's back. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I love making these videos and I'll see you in the next video.